all the people hung upon his words. Inviting you to spend your five minutes in listening, meditating, and praying on the Word of God as you begin your day. Blessing and peace to you and all your family members. May the Lord Jesus bless you with love and peace. November 18th, 2022 Friday, 33rd week of the Ordinary Time Prepare your mind and heart as you listen to the Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O oh my God and King, I beg you to grant me the grace, during this time of meditation, that all my intentions, actions, and operations may be directed purely to the praise and service of your Divine Majesty. Amen. A reading from the Gospel. According to St. Luke. Chapter 19. Verses 45 to 48. And he entered the temple. And began to drive out those who sold. Saying to them. It is written. My house shall be a house of prayer. But you have made it a den of robbers. And he was teaching daily in the temple. The chief priests and the scribes. And the principal men of the people. Sought to destroy him. But they did not find anything they could do. For all the people hung upon his words. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray and meditate on this Gospel passage. Why did Jesus drive out the money changers in the temple at Jerusalem? Was he upset with their greediness? This is the only incident in the Gospels where we see Jesus using physical force. Jesus went to Jerusalem knowing he would meet certain death on the cross but victory as well for our sake. His act of judgment in the temple is meant to be a prophetic sign and warning to the people that God takes our worship very seriously. The Lord wants to share His Holiness with us. If we approach God's Word with a humble attentive heart and with a willingness to be taught by the Lord, then we are in a good place to allow God's Word to change and transform us in the likeness of Christ. The Lord wants to teach us His ways so that we may grow in holiness. The Lord calls us to be a holy people who worship Him with reverence and gratitude for His great mercy and kindness towards us. Do you allow God's Word to transform you in His way of love and holiness? Let us pause to pray silently and ask the Lord Jesus to bless you with all the graces you need for today. Prayer. Lord Jesus, you open wide the door of your house, and you bid us to enter confidently, that we may worship you in spirit and truth. Help me to draw near to you, with gratitude and joy, 
for your great mercy. May I always revere your word and give you acceptable praise and worship. Amen.